Are you thinking of moving to Gainesville, Georgia? Well, today we're going to look at the history, affordability, things to do, and the housing market in Gainesville, Georgia. Hi, I'm Frida Kalina, and not only am I a realtor in the area, but I have lived in Gainesville, Georgia. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel for more information on the local market, events, and of course, real estate. Now let's start with where is Gainesville, Georgia? Gainesville lies in a Northern Hall County, roughly 55 miles north northeast of Atlanta, which takes about an hour to an hour and a half, depending upon the traffic. The population of Gainesville is 43,994 as of 2020. Gainesville has access to two major interstates, one being 985, which leads to 85 in downtown Atlanta, or there's 400, which takes you more to the west side of Atlanta. Known as the poultry capital of the world, it was founded by European American settlers in the early 1800s as a mule camp and has been known as Gainesville since 1812. It is named Named after a general in the War of 1812 against Great Britain. Gainesville has been attracting tourists since 1850 and even more so since the creation of Lake Lanier. Besides its natural sites, the city has a wealth of other attractions within easy reach. Gainesville has several colleges. Brunel University, Lanier Technical, and the Interactive College of Technology. And close by is the University of North Georgia in Dahlonega and University of Georgia in Athens, which is home of the Bulldogs. Go dogs! Lake Lanier was created by damming the Chattahoochee River in the 1950s. And Lake Lanier has 692 miles of shoreline, 26 miles long, and is spread across five counties, which includes Dawson, Forsyth, Hall, Gwinnett, and Lumpkin. And there are three marinas in Gainesville, Gainesville Marina, Port Royal, and Sunset Cove. Gainesville and Port Royal have quaint little dockside restaurants and you can drive right up from your boat to the dock and have lunch or dinner. Now the Atlanta Botanical Gardens in Gainesville is a spectacular place and surrounded by Georgia's fantastic natural landscapes. The flowers throughout the gardens are amazing. And Gainesville does not lack in parks. Longwood Park is on the lake and has walking trails, picnic tables, lake access, and it has a dock. Lanier Point Park is located on Lake Lanier and close to an athletic complex. There are also lots of other parks on the lake with camping, picnicking, boating, and fishing. Another great place is the downtown Gainesville Square. There's lots of shopping with quaint little boutiques and an array of restaurants ranging from Atlas Pizza, Avocados, Downtown Drafts to a wine and charcuterie restaurant called Corkit, one of my favorites. For more upscale restaurants, you can visit Scott's where you can get filet mignon, bourbon salmon, or cream brulee for dessert. At Luna's, you may want to order a steak, crab cakes, or rack of lambs, always with an array of delicious desserts. There are also plenty of franchise restaurants all over Gainesville, such as Chili's, Longhorns, Red Lobster, and many more. Now let's talk about the five best places to work in Gainesville. Here's the list from 2022. First of all, there's Homestar Financial, two, Northeast Georgia Health System, three, Long Street Clinic, four, Tab Retail Modeling, five, Kubota Manufacturing of America. And the cost of living in Gainesville is 89.6%, which means it's below average to live here. And the average household income is 74,033. This brings us to the housing market. And like everywhere else, prices have increased quite a bit. As of now, there's about 300 new listings, and the median list price is $446,500, and the sold price is $400,000. Property taxes have gone up also. Seniors can get discounts on property taxes by applying for the exemption. There is also a homestead exemption for anyone who occupies their property. You must apply, but it will keep your property tax lower as long as you live in the home. Now I wanna show you some homes that you can purchase that are in the medium price range and what it will get you. Number one, 9270 Long Hollow Road. This is a brand new ranch with three bedrooms, two full baths, plus a bonus room. The square footage is 1676 and not far from Lake Lanier. Now this home is priced at 450,000. Number two, 1009 Pine Valley Road. And this house is on the lake and has a private dock with a single slip. It's a split foyer with four bedrooms and three full baths and sits on 0.58 of an acre with 2492 square foot total. 
This home is priced at 449. Number three, 4364 Rock Rose Green Way was built in 2020. It's a two-story home with four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and 2102 square foot. It sits on point 15 of an acre and located in a swim tennis community, which includes swim, tennis, playground, picnic, pavilion, and outdoor fireplace. This home is priced at 434. Now let's calculate what your payment would be with a sales price of 450,000. To avoid mortgage insurance, you'll want to put 20% down, or in this case, 90,000. The principal amount, which is 433, and the interest, which is 1,500, which totals 1,933. Now this amount does not include the property taxes or homeowner's insurance. Property taxes would be approximately 315 per month, and homeowner's insurance would be determined on the amount of coverage you get. Insurance companies can really fluctuate, so you'll want to check around on that. So your total of payment without the homeowner's insurance is 2,248. Right now in Georgia, rents have increased so much, so it's better to buy if you can and at least have equity instead of throwing money away or paying your landlord's mortgage. Makes sense? Well, that's my video, and I hope you learned a lot and you'll subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, but places in real estate, of course. And if you're thinking of moving to Gainesville or relocating to Gainesville, please reach out to me so I can send you my free relocation guide. All my contact information is below. See you next time.